Good evening, being March 28th, 2019. This is the Cushman Planning Board. Is there a motion to open the meeting? Motion open. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 At 7.37. Seven. I'm late tonight, sorry. 6.37. 6 6.37? Uh, it, it was a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, I, was, I wasn't that late, was I? <laughs> <laughs> this meeting is being audio and videotaped for Mass General Law. With that, Minutes from March 7, 2019. Is there a motion? Have you gentlemen had an opportunity motion to read? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Rochester, Rochester, nothing serious, nothing on the line. Item number four, plan our update. You want to do that at the end, Henry? Do it at the end. You got it. With that. Still a public hearing? It is. Continuation of the public hearing. Well, so I have to wait to 645? I we can't have. do it. We, okay. we should wait. We're still early. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> after, all that, after all that, we're on time. We need five minutes to come back to, from regular session into uh, public session. Back from commercial break. Is there a motion to open the public hearing for Manise at States at 645? Motion to open the public hearing. Second that. All in favor? Aye. With that, introduce yourself and tell us why you're here. We know why that handsome face is here. Uh, for the record, my name is Jeff Ullman from SciTech Engineering here representing uh, EPM Development, the applicant from Manise at States. Uh, this project has been continued from your last um, public meeting. The only outstanding issue at that point was the uh, the board had voted on the waiver for the sidewalk that was denied. Um, so this plan does show the location of the one sidewalk that we're proposing um, within the development. So it will be located on the, uh, what would be the east side, it looks like, of the, uh, you know, as you're entering the subdivision, the east side of the road, and it will continue up to the cul-de-sac and then terminate just prior um, in accordance with the, the standard that was in the subdivision rules and regulations for the town of Christian, it, it does end just prior to the, um, to the cul-de-sac. And that was, that was the only change, the only um, uh, revision that was asked for at the last meeting, so you have to answer any questions that the board might have. Gentlemen, anything, anybody from the public? Or against. With that, do we have to read all of these five? Uh, yeah, we just, um, so we're all on the same sheet. Uh, as part of the site plan review, and we've talked about this, um, more lane, the more lane extension has to be completed, prerequisite to the project. And the uh, more lane upgrade has to be completed prior to the, the project. Proper re to releasing lots. Releasing, right. Yeah. right. Proper recording of easements, covenants, etc. Uh, strict adherence to Kushnet subdivision regulations and uh, waivers granted, there are none. Okay. Gentlemen, is there a motion? Any questions first? For or against? Is there a motion? Motion. Accept. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. With that, uh, 
We cannot sign these tonight, or we cannot sign this tonight because we have a 21-day appeal. 21 day appeal. Yeah, so with that, is there a motion to close the public hearing on Menees Estates? Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 With that, that's all set. 21 days from now, we will sign these papers and we move forward. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. The roadway improvement plan, is that a separate vote? How does... Which one? On the the number? Number? On more. No. Or is that that's part that's of... All part of, of it's all included. The conditional. Conditional. Yeah, right. this, it says completion of more lane extension, Hathaway Road to the front of Blaze Drive. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, folks, for bearing with all the different... Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, now you can go out and spend some real money. <laughs> 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 Have a great trip in Vegas. I hope you're going to buy some machinery. Are you taking Jeff with you? Uh, no, 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 Jeff's no. Not, Jeff's not a machinery guy. No, 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 no. Bob Cat or Batco? Jeff, Jeff's like you. He likes to play golf. Plenty of golf clubs out there. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. 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 Come in, introduce yourself. Oh, who's this guy you brought with you? Hey, how you doing? Uh, Walter Harvey from John Lady's office, and this is Scott Hyde. We have an ANR plan here. So Smile on the camera, they want to see in the, the camera. We have an ANR plan, um, hopefully that you guys can look at here. It's, uh, put my glasses on. 184 Leonard Street, which belongs to the Harding family. And um, they're looking to take a, basically a, a sliver off of each side of it and convey it to one sliver to Scott on one side and one piece to Andrew on the other, leaving the lot in the middle with you know appropriate area in front of it. Yeah. So you're taking away parcel one and parcel two from that 20 lot four? Yes. That's it? That's it. Simple and sweet? No new building lots created. Right. And there's a note there about seven and eight regarding each one to be conveyed to the buyer. Pretty straightforward. Sure is. Make a motion we approve the plan as submitted. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. You got the mylar? Yeah, Absolutely. Right you got the mylar, you can put all these other things. You got nine here and one down three for I think there's seven here and one downstairs because the checklist says six, but you told me she needed seven. Probably. Nine. You must have had an early book. Did you have an early book? I got what they gave me for town credit. No problem. Check attached to that package. Oh, that's fine. That's
too easy. I was about to sign all the copies. That's good. Too simple. Thank you. Thank you. Coming you. back into town. Well, we haven't seen you in a while, bro. Huh? Just only for Scott. That's all? Yeah. He's a lucky man, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Take care. With that, our next one is until 7.15, so we'll take another five-minute break and we'll be back. You come in, gentlemen. Come in. How's it going? Good. Back from commercial break. We have a Form A on Wing Road. You'd be kind enough to introduce yourself, sir, to the people and us in TV land. And Matt Leone here. with Schneider Associates, um, representing the uh, Gendron Estates Realty Trust and their application, Form A application, for a, a piece known as a Map 12, Lot 8. And now uh, we are... Do you have copies? I do. I if have... you hand over two or three for us, just sure. so we can look at them, please. There's the, uh, the Mylar. Okay. Do you want the copies of the uh, four man as well? Okay. Guys, once you grab one, please, we'll make it easier. Okay. Got that one? Bill, you want this one? We'll buy the show. So the piece is uh, located uh, south of the uh, Frank Street subdivision, north of uh, Hathaway Road. It's uh, approximately uh, 21 and three quarter acres in size. Uh, the intent here is to create uh, two conveyance parcels that are going to be conveyed to uh, adjacent land and to maintain lot eight as a buildable lot um, that's going to conform to the frontage and area requirements uh, of the uh, residence city district. The original lot was lot two on a subdivision for uh, Gendron Estates back in 2009, uh, where the, uh, the complete piece, as you see highlighted in, in yellow here, was uh, was generated on that plan. And the intent here is just to uh, uh, create two conveyance parcels. Where's lot two? Excuse me? Where's lot two? Lot two was the entire piece, uh, if you want to. It refers to the... Uh, Original subdivision plan. Okay. Lot two was the uh, original piece okay. in its entire. Okay. Lot two. I'm looking over here. Can't find lot two. <laughs> prior, prior, prior to its, uh, prior to us creating our new plan. Are they going to put in that cul-de-sac or is that cul-de-sac there? Yeah. That cul-de-sac is under construction at this time. Okay. So in essence, that cul-de-sac has to be accepted. Am I correct on this one? Yeah, no, no, no. It's a Exi that's interesting. Yeah. It would be my understanding that if the lot A was to be conveyed as a buildable lot, excuse me, lot, lot eight, it would it would need to uh, to meet the uh, planning board approval for sufficient um, construction. Once you put the cul-de-sac in, correct? Yes. Okay. And there's only like a what a 12 foot gravel road that goes up there now, 12 foot wide gravel. Yeah, road. which what's going there now right? is what is it, is what is existing. Yeah. Uh, you'll most likely have to come back in for a determination of adequate access. That's not going to be that wouldn't be granted just with us signing the form A. 
Well, I don't think that it changes the 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 watt A, the conveyance pieces that we're creating. I don't think it changes the watt eight. Um, oh, I know, but, oh, when, okay. but when you go to the building inspector four, four, to, to eight, request absolutely. a building permit, absolutely, as, as you going, would, he's yeah. going to kick it back and say, you know, you, you need a determination yes. of adequate access. Okay. I just didn't want to want you to think you were <coughs> excuse me. Done. When we sign it. <coughs> Parcel C is just going to sit there. The reason, the reason for Parcel C is to keep some continuity with some older deeds and plans. Um, I believe they're going to be conveyed together. Uh, it's just that we were asked to put that on the plan because of easements and deeds that are written and to keep some continuity with those uh, as a reference as Parcel AC, AC. That you got to consider not considered the uh, special building itself. So what would be the uh, access to those lots from there that goes up Fleet Road? Oh, the other two? Well, yeah. Who knows? Well, they're actually going to be held in common with, with uh, existing oh. land. Okay. So with that, I believe they'll use. So they'll have access through that, through that piece. Because that goes back about a quarter of a mile. That's a big, that's a big piece of land. So you understand yet? Put the cul-de-sac in when you decide to make lot A a buildable lot. Absolutely, as as exactly. it was prior to this yep. subdivision. Yeah. Absolutely. And now what they're going to do is charge you for a buildable lot on this one when the taxes yep. come up. That's that's not my. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want. Yeah, they won't be charging me. <laughs> You understand that one coming up, gentlemen. That motion to approve that's submitted. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Uh, your mylar. Once you register at the registry of deeds, you'd be kind enough to call myself and my secretary. Once you get the book and the page, so we can put it on the file. Absolutely. You can hand it to this handsome gentleman right here. <laughs> Once you put all those together, Phil, Brian, you can sign these up. 28. So I can. What'd you do? Did David the night off? I did. I did. He said he would, he would be missed, but uh, he, he, he had a conflict, so he. Yeah, you I don't know what he's doing. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. He needs a night off. That's okay. Let's see. Pull my fill out a stamp by Tom Clerk. Yes. Copies here of the yeah, actually ten. Okay, okay. Ten yeah. in the mile. Yeah. Ten in the mile. Was one down the or there was one left in the town clerk for me. Fantastic, fantastic job. Oops. Oh, oh I got it. Two, no, meetings, two meetings in one month? Yeah, that's what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Try it with flat. Cool. Got a magic pen? Yes, I do. Slide to me. Take care of this. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, folks. You understand now that Josh will put the letter on that. I'll add them now. Are Thank you, have a great night. With that, Henry, we want to go through some planner updates and we'll go through this. Uh, yeah, my planner update was really geared towards uh, this? the bylaws. Okay. If you want to go ahead and start it? Sure. And we'll discuss it. Each of you guys got a packet, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, um, from time to time, either myself, or Jim Merritt, or the Board of Health, or all three of us, or more of us, um, will do, um, or make recommendations uh, for changes to the zoning bylaws, which is Article 8. So each of you have a packet, um, which shows the recommended uh, changes to the bylaws. Most of these are coming from the um, um, Logan Commissioner, and uh, he's not here tonight, but um, I think often it's in response to um, common problems that he faces, and he's the enforcement officer. So it's kind of like, you know, we make the laws and he has to enforce them. So when problems arise, he gives feedback um, to myself, and uh, I write them up and then present them to you. The prerogative is yours to um, let these move forward or not. So next month, I'll be recommending that we, um, actually, I think we're going to have the next meeting in May, uh, right before town meeting. Um, the next meeting we have a public hearing, we'll actually vote on the bylaws. Okay. What we vote on in May, um, we can leave everything as is, but if there's anything in here that you de just definitely don't want going forward into the public hearing, we can take it out right now. That also saves advertising costs, which time is always beating me up on, you know, <laughs> this is going to be very expensive to run the, uh, the notice, because there's, there's a lot. Right. Um, so, um, I will just walk everybody through. Yep. Please. That's okay? Yep. All right. So everybody has a copy. Uh, so this, these are the existing, uh, this is the existing Article 8 zoning bylaws for the town. Uh, what is shown in red are recommended changes. And again, I'm not necessarily advocating for some of these. It's more, um, there's a lot in here that's coming from the building committee. Um, So the first page, well, there's actually one on page 31. Oh, sorry, sir. And that is, um, page 31 is um, just providing clarity. Jim wanted some clarity on what frontage means. Um, currently, where it says um, the last sentence, 
frontage along any street to which it has both legal and physical access, and it would end there. He's suggesting in red, to and from the building portion of the lot. Does that mean no more common driveways? Be a special permit? Is that what? Would that, would that mean that? Um, no, I think it's just a clarification that the... Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I believe it's just so that I think it's you don't have a driveway wandering over multiple lots to get back to Correct. the building portion. Right. Right. I just understand it on the same as, lot. I'm just asking if that means Doesn't that we can't do a special permit for a, for a uh, common driveway. Because then, the, the, you know, there will be two lots that don't have, quote, physical access. Uh, from the frontage to the building portion of the lot. That's all. Just, I'm just asking the question. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if we made that plural lots, does that fix that? I, I mean, I, I think I know where Jim's headed. I just, yeah. I just, I'm asking and wondering if there has to be some additional wording so that, you know, maybe unless, unless uh, a common driveway is, is uh, permitted under whatever the section. Mm -hmm. is that allows us to issue special permits for uh, common driveways. Do you want to discuss that with okay, Jim? Right. Huh? Oh, Rick is a whiz on this. Well, I'm, just, I'm just asking the question. That, no, you know, well, I, okay, so... Um, just, uh, if you want to ask Jim for a clarification on that, I mean, it seems... I don't know, has anybody actually ever done a special permit for a common driveway? We have. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Then then it needs as, as long as this doesn't preclude that happening, I, I don't have a problem with it. I think there's some other stuff in here on the common driveways. Yeah, I'm sure there's substantial amount of common driveways. But I think what you're saying is when we define frontage, if we're are we putting ourselves in a box. Well if it's if that's the definition, there. well then you don't have frontage unless you have a driveway on your own lot that goes out to the street. Right. <laughs> okay, so I can uh, I can add an electric common drive is permitted. Ask, ask, ask Jim how he would interpret it. I guess if you want to. I mean, that. <laughs> no. Okay, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a similar but time constraint mm -hmm. because our next meeting is going to be in May, right before town meeting. So we have to fix the language. Now we can. Can you just say that? Then maybe you can just say unless a special permit. For common driveway is issued under whatever the applicable section is. Right, let me get to that. I heard it was June 2020. That's right. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, all I can say is it's it's taken close to 10 years to get most of my father's stuff cleaned up <laughs> off of, of the mobile home park property. Good good luck with the junk. <laughs>
See, the next uh, change was um, page 34. There's something of a typo there. Uh, should we shall not be subject to the setback requirements, not the yard requirements, but the setback requirements. You guys, okay with that one? I see that. Yeah, yeah, that's a little straight forward. Keep that one. Um, the next one is on page 37. To do with something, something Jim calls an upland circle. An upland these? circle, huh? Have you seen these, Brian? No, I have. Okay. I'll do my best to explain. do my best visually to explain what this all means. Yeah, I, I, I visually, I'm just trying to look at the words here. Okay. Upland circle. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the goal is to try and provide a, is to not <coughs> tuck the, the building and the septic system into like one corner of a, of a lot that really isn't yeah, but I believe on this one, if I get it correctly, Jim wants it up front on the lot line. So, yeah, this is the road. Can you see that? That's the road, and this is the frontage. Yeah. And what this would say is 90% of the um, create, create a diameter for this circle. Mm -hmm. That is 90% of the required frontage. I've shown this as just like a 100-foot frontage. Mm -hmm. So if you've got any uplands, uh, if you've got any wetlands in the front, you're not going to be able to build on the lot. Correct. So this is yeah. to, as as all the good land is used up, we get into these situations where you have to cross through wetlands to get to sites. Mm -hmm. So this is like we had with a recent project, um, which I won't get into, but uh, um, this makes it really tight to get in. You know, you have to kind of squeeze through here. Now, this is, if this was a 400 foot frontage, then this frontage would be really big and this circle would be relatively smaller. Uh, so there'd be room to get in, but you know, if you're a developer and you're trying to maximize the number of lots. Well, or you're, be, or you're an owner and you've been paying uh, right. taxes on the land as a buildable lot for the last 20 or 30 years, right. you might, you might, you might be a little like upset about this. Right. Um, well, I'm not for it. I don't know what to No, I, I'm, I'm not for it either. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not for anything that, that's going to kill somebody on their retirement money that they've been banking on. Yeah, right. Period. I, I'm... You guys got any more questions on that one? Or understand oh, it? Oh, I understand it. I agree with you. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. People have been driving wetlands in this town for <laughs> the last 30 or 40 years. Well, there, you know, there, and there are wetland regulations which address this also. And the wetland crossing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. okay. So, page 39. Um, 
Jim is recommending that the retreat lot minimum width after you get past the access uh, the access strip. So there's the you know, you know driveway, and then you get to the buildable part of the property. Um, he's saying he'd like to have that minimum width be 200 feet minimum. Here's the um, I think where the math is coming into play. If you look at the uh, setbacks, they're all 75 feet. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, if you have a, a width of a property that's I mean, that already 50 feet. I understand, but right. that already prevents you from doing anything. Right. It's to some degree it's redundant, yeah. but it also uh, if you had a retreat lot where you get to the access strip and it opens up, mm -hmm. this would say it has to remain sort of at a uniform width. It couldn't narrow neck down and then come back up. So I think that's the that would be the impact. Uh, I, 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 We've been dealing with three tree lights forever. Yep. And it's at 40 foot frontage. Right. Going back to, it's 100. Yeah, going back to a place that you've got enough room to put your house in yep. and keep it 75 feet from the property lines. Yep. I mean, I, to me, that's a simple enough way to do it. I don't really see the need here to put a secondary requirement in that going to amount to the same thing. It's 150 feet now. Yeah. Okay. I think we should leave it, but it's up to you guys. Yeah. I mean, if Jen has really had a problem, I mean, to me it's simple. You know, you, you've got, can, is your house 75 feet back from the property line? No? Okay, it doesn't meet zoning. Right. right. You're, you're out of here. We have, we have the, um, I'm not advocating for any of these. Mm -hmm. I'm presenting them. Mm -hmm. um, we have the option, if, if we're a little bit unclear and you'd like Jim to come in and you know, fight for this a little bit harder, we can carry this into the public hearing and let him explain it a little further if we think that's necessary. But if you're of the belief right now that... I, I'm just... You know. to, me the, to me, the setback thing takes care of the, the issue. Okay. And if they, if they, you know, they can still go for a variance, if they so desire, either way, right? You know, no, it's all seventy-five front, rear side. I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. If you don't have enough room to get those to get those setbacks, well, you don't you don't have a retreat yeah. lot. Yeah. Okay, put a no on that so one. No. Same thing with K. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, number 10 is, that shouldn't be highlighted, and right, that's already yeah. Yeah, that's that's for the No, so 65 people have had that rule all along. Right. That was that. Right. A typographical red arrow? Yeah, I'm confirming that right now. Where is that? Well, I mean, it says except as allowed. So it can be you, know, you can do antennas bigger than that, but you've got to get special permit. starts here, right? Mm -hmm. So he's saying in this area, right here, uh, this access should not come within 150 feet on either side of a dwelling, principal dwelling, just principal structure. 
picture, I think he could, he's referring to a, a dwelling. But this is why the retreat lot was made because they had 40 foot frontage going. <coughs> so, so you're down. better off to have three driveways in between two lots rather than give a special permit. I, I don't understand no, that one either. Well, you got to be 150 feet. Yeah, from a common driveway. No, from the house. Yeah, I know. But, but I'm assuming there's going to be, you know, some strips with a retreat lot. So you can have three driveways next to the houses, but you can't have a common driveway next to the house. That doesn't make sense. Right. Yeah, I want to. Somebody's got to explain that one. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand it. it's. Uh, I mean, am I reading it wrong, Henry? Yeah. Confirm. No common driveway shall be constructed within 150 feet of any principal structure served thereby. I think that's when we did retreat lots. There was, I mean, they were slipped in between houses. 150. Well, most of them are in between houses. Yeah, but, yeah, I, yeah. Um, but there, there's not any, 150. Uh, but it says uh, any principal structure served thereby. Well, if those two houses aren't served by the common driveway, then it doesn't matter the way it reads. Right. I don't know. Seems um, more complicated. Well, seems this one seems a little more complicated than it needs to be. I, I, Clarification? I, I, yeah, I, I would need to have that explained to me. Okay, let's keep that in and let Jim explain it a little further. So on that one, we can because we can carry this into the public hearing and we can take it out at that time too. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just or, discussing or it now. Yeah. I mean, these are what when we. I should say, when Rick started, we put all these rules and regulations together. We didn't have any rules and regulations. No, no. I mean, it's it's fine. I just yeah. I just don't understand it. That's all. I, I don't understand. You know, that's the problem actually with any of these things in words. You know, it's one paragraph, but then lots are they're all different. You know, it's almost impossible to write a paragraph that's going to cover all the possible combinations. Yeah. Of, of lots all and the, retreat strips and you know it's I, not all the house lots are square next to each other yeah I mean that would be wonderful then it would be <laughs> if we were out in Arizona or That's something right. with that kind of subdividing that would be great but I'm happy with that. That's right. hey this is a question listen be honest we got it's a nice town we pay good tax money of any principal structure served thereby okay so but um we would like a clarification for the well, one. Well, I think I can provide right now. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, presently, mm -hmm. the, the standard is no common driveway shall be constructed within 150 feet of the structure that meets the construction standards specified herein. So there is a the 150 feet. It, it's, it's sort of an oddly worded sentence. Just don't, don't seem to understand it. Should be serviced. Well, that's a typo. Brian, you understand this one? Okay, I'm not feeling bad. Let me is in the bylaw right now. That's not so. What we're specifying here is that it's 150 feet from a front, like a principal dwelling. Mm -hmm. Not uh, so. You could pass closer to somebody's garage. garage. Okay. So actually, this is making it a little bit more liberal. So instead, they don't want the driveway close to the house. With it. Right. Right now, we're saying it's 150 feet from any structure. Yep. Right. Now we're clarifying and saying it's right. 100 feet from a principal structure. Which is actually giving you leeway now. Right. We can have Jim make sure that we yeah, understand it that way. Yeah. And we can ask Jim to come in, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. This is oh, just. Like a, no, this is a we trap. We got it all in. night for this. Whatever so you guys the following want. following standards shall apply to.
like you say, you take it to a court of law and one lawyer says one thing and the other lawyer says another thing, right? Interprets it one way, interprets it the other way, right? right. interpretation on that. It's just they're changing it from any structure to a principal structure. A principal right. yeah. structure I, mean, I guess, I guess, that, I guess right? that's fine. Unless you want to change no. the principal structure to a dwelling. No, I mean that gives, like you said, Henry, that gives it a little more leeway than the way it reads. So. You guys okay with that <laughs> one? I still, I still, I, I probably wrote the first one. I still don't remember why, how I came up with the first one. We got to put another town. We, we got two or three. Well, all I know, I just yeah. nine is just English grammar. Yeah. Uh, on page forty-three. Okay, at the top. Um, okay, so it says construction of a private garage uh, or private parking as an accessory use for not more than three cars. So what we're saying here, what Jim is saying here, is that if you had a property um, and you wanted to build just a garage uh, that would not be allowed he's saying the garage has to be an accessory use to a principal structure mm -hmm. so does that mean it has to be connected to it or no it just means there should you know if you have a house a structure if, if you have a lot yeah. you can't just build a garage you have to build the principal dwelling first, or the principal building first, and then you can build in a garage as an accessory use. That can be connected to the house, or it can be separated. Hmm. Detached. Yeah. Is that another permit? Is that all that's saying? This is another permit? Or uh, this would be saying you would the allowed use, the permitted use, is a private garage or a private parking for not more than three cars, but as an accessory use. Mm -hmm. it keeps you from just putting a garage up, yeah. I guess, without anything else on the lot. Why you would do that, I'm not quite sure, but you have to house it. I guess I guess that's fine. You guys okay with that one? No, well, you got uh, those little lots there on Watson Avenue on the way down to where you were. Uh, buddy of mine owns them. He was talking to me thinking of building a garage on one of them lots. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't be able to do that then, right? No, unless, unless it was part of no. an accessory use to no, it's a separate small lot. They're gonna, they're, this right. says you can't General even park it. This says you can't even park a car on the lot. Yeah. 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 Who is it? Hmm? Pete Davis. Pete Davis. So you guys okay with that one, Eight? Why are you to think about that again? So that means if you own a lot, yeah, it's, not big enough, it's not big enough for you to put a house on, you can't even park your car on it. Or park a car on it. That's a question of a little uh, clarification on that. Uh, I, that's, that's what it's going to mean. Yeah. You know, if you can't put a house on it, then you can't basically put anything else on it either. If you want clarification, we can have Jim come in. Again, the rules are once we get into public hearing, once this has been published in the paper, we can take away, we can cut things, we can't add, we can cut. Right. Well, we may need some clarification on some yeah. of these things. Okay. Well, yeah, that's a guy who owns lots. I'm going to say he's going to do it. His neighbor doesn't room. want him to put a, yeah. right. park a couple of cars there. Right. You know, so you're paying ta I, you know, I, it, it all comes out. You're paying taxes on it. Yeah. I can't put a house on it. Let me do something with it. You know, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. The neighbors aren't going to like it. The neighbors can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> and pay taxes on it. Yeah. So let's have Jim come in and provide some clarification. Yeah. Are you guys okay with that one? Yep. Here's one I think. Well, that we'll have to get a little more yeah, clarification on that one. Here's one that um, 
I think we can probably all agree on, and that's uh, to remove ski toe. Yeah. Where is that? Special um, permit okay. for ski toe? Right. Mosquito. <laughs> okay, that's a simple one. All right. What's a ski toe? Let's go. Well, if you were, if you wanted to put a, a, a table up the town, no, no, I don't know the old like town, town bar, so. down it. Somebody was thinking that out of the box. Like a jay bar, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that just came out of another. Yeah. Okay, the next one has to do again with that uh, accessory use of a. Um, Private garage. Yeah, clarification so on that. Keep the clarification. Okay, at your pleasure. Okay, um, number and, forty. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's 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 a tough call, you know. On you know, my, my father paid taxes as a building lot on the lot on Lawson Street for twenty or thirty years thousands and thousands of dollars worth of taxes over the course of time and it wasn't buildable. <laughs> the new septic system yep. regulations just squashed it. So wow. Yeah. Yep. So it was like I I, I was close to a thousand dollars a year in that recently in taxes on it. I mean, we sold it off to a neighbor, but we didn't even recover the property taxes yep. that had been paying on it. So far he didn't. Okay, page 45 um, is a lot width, which uh, measures up to the math of the item right above it. Um, so the 80 feet is not really what's in play here. Jim just wanted uh, to add within the parameters of the required lot size as clarification, which he apparently needs for enforcement. It's already 80 feet, right? Was right. That, That's not the issue. It's, 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 he just wanted within the parameters okay. of the right last night. You guys okay with that one? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you see um, on page 45 and the top of page 46, permits. That's going to appear several times. So, yeah, noticed that. yeah. So once we kind of ag agree on what we want, what the disposition is, was the flag everywhere else. Uh, what this is saying is, as the zoning enforcement officer, to better, to be in a more informed place, um, the bylaw requires Jim to uh, seek review and comment from the various parties to help him in his enforcement efforts. We do this pretty much as a routine now uh, when we have our department meetings on. Uh, Tuesdays, um, but this just sort of memorializes that and mandates it upon Jim. So it's kind of it, it's a burden he's created for himself. But what it does is help him be more educated on these projects so he can do a better job. With enforcement. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go all the way up to A, B, C, D, E, F. E, F. Yeah. Okay. Let me read H. Okay. H, H is, is something different. That's a different one. You can't have any shit here, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Right. You're in a pallet in your backyard. Yeah. That's now not allowed. That's right. No about yeah. a refrigerator on a porch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not too hip on this one. No, I'm not either. Guys, you got any comments on that? I mean, can, you can't permit it to store anything on the side of the front of your house. You can only store it in the rear half. No, of your you property. can't even do that, right? Jump off again. Yep. Yeah. Isn't it, is it your property? Well, it used to be. <laughs> I mean, they got 
dwelling is now not dwelling is but areas you gotta pl play by their laws. Yep. Now they're doing it. Well, I'm Can you finish products or semi finished I don't products? Like that. I mean, no. So I mean if you've got if you've got a contractor that's working on a on an addition to your house, now he's gotta screen it from site. You know, I I, I, I don't know. No, I, I'm not on that one. You guys? Nope. No, no, well, that's it. Good. Put a big no on that one. Um, Do we need to vote on that one or no? Just, no, you know. Listen, this is just now. We are a editing. Draft, we are right? editing this together as a group. Yeah. Um, and what we end up with is what I'll ask you all to have a public hearing on mm -hmm. next. I understand. In May. Yep. Um, is everybody okay with G one through um, G one A through F? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's, but not H. But not H is a completely separate one. And so, when you turn to page forty-eight, I mean, you could, I mean, you could take a hard line and say this even means if you got firewood piled up somewhere. Right. No, uh -oh. that, no, no I, I'm I'm being serious. Yeah, right. No material or supplies. Yeah. Nothing. Shit, my yard's never that clean. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon my language here. <laughs> Yours. You know, I, I've we seen won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kids' toys for crying out loud. Right. Can't have them. Absolutely. Can't have them. Bring them inside. Screen them with a fence. I mean, fence. God, it'd be nice if everything was nice and neat, but I mean, come on, now. you got to live too. Okay, so um, on page 48, we have the same situation. That's basically uh, the same thing, right? So with, with, with H. So I would strike H. So I would strike H for that all day. <laughs> yeah. You know, and um, you know, Jim gets a lot of calls from people. I, I, I mean, understand. Somebody's got you know, stuff out there. Yeah, my well, lot's neat. His isn't. Yeah, yeah. right. Straighten them out. I, I, I understand, but that's a little too. Yeah, I just think that that's going a little far myself. Okay. Okay. It's okay. expensive enough to own a house right. and a lot. Yeah, do you think David on what you yeah. do with it? That, uh, now I got my neighbor. Is, now I got my neighbor yeah. calling up about kids' toys in the front that I didn't pick up last night. No, I. Um, page fifty-one. Um, what are we getting rid of H here on forty-eight? Yes, yes. We'll the same thing. Yeah, yeah. it'll be G on uh, page oh, fifty-one and fifty-two. We'll get rid of G. I presume. Yeah. And yep. We'll keep F one A through. Yep. That's basically the same as the last one. Right. I'm taking your word. Same thing. Same thing. No materials, right. no permitted storage. Yeah. Yeah, so that's getting paid too much tax money for that. Yeah, I know. So on okay. 54, 53, 54, again, we were of H. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And, okay, on page 57, um, talking about site plan review. So, uh, I think the Board of Health really wanted to be who it was calling for this just to, um, to affect the trigger for site plan reviews and also to have some level of conformance with stormwater management. Um, sort of lowering the, he wants to lower the threshold for triggers for a site plan review, which again is just, you know, creates. Um, a lot more work um, when you go or from gym, right? right when you you know site plan review going from um, for like if you look at number three all new modified non-residential development we're dropping it from twelve thousand to five thousand square feet for uh, new or modified residential we're dropping it down to three thousand square feet so if you have a three thousand square foot you know uh, gross floor area you're subject to site plan review. For one parking space? <laughs> um, I, 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 would, I would suggest that we give people a little more leeway than that. Right. Uh, right. I, I, well, how, about, how about 10 spaces? Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought that was city, a good... Right? Yeah, I... I um, I mean, that's a number that I like. A, a site plan review, if you want to add one parking space, that's that's pretty right. 
extreme. pretty stringent. Yeah, pretty yeah. extreme. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is everybody okay with that? I, I, I mean, I mean, that seems like a reasonable number. I mean, right. Ten. Well, the original one said thirty. Starting. We're just going to bring it to ten. Yes. How is everybody on the three thousand and five thousand square feet? I, I mean, there's so little of this that happens in town anyway. Right. I don't think that that's totally off. You guys okay with that? Yeah. yeah. So I think next, our next step is on page 68. Oh, well, this is all good. I mean, this is easy. Um, page 68. Oh, okay. At one time, we all... No, no more temporary more. We had a right. We had a temporary <laughs> You got that one right. <laughs> everybody will like trimming that down. So, yep. um, is everybody okay with removing 3.9? Yep. Yes. Yep. Very good. And that's it. Well, do they have a little bit Henry? Thank you. So, um, you guys got any more questions on that? Well, that was good. Yeah. So, Okay. It's all talking to gentleman about coming in and providing clarification. Yeah, I mean, if he can explain it to you, you know, yeah, so that uh, I I'll just bring him let's, yeah, okay. we'll oh, ask yeah. us some questions. You know, he's, this is he's the one making the recommendations. He's, he's doing it for a reason, so yep. maybe okay. he can uh, express why. his opinion to us why he wants to do it. Maybe sure. we're not reading it right, or so well, maybe we're thinking of stuff he didn't think of. Yeah. Either way. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, this may take a little bit of time, but I'm going to, uh, I want this to be in the record that uh, I'm requesting a motion to uh, hold a public hearing on amendments to Article 8 of the Zoning Bylaws to the following sections. I'm going to read these in. Okay, there. read them in. I'll try to do that. Um, <laughs> you have to read it in. Can we just make it all the highlighted oh, areas? All the highlighted areas. Yes. Yeah. Is that okay with that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That would be fine. Instead of reading it in, two, right. it will take us another half hour. Yeah. Okay. Is it that motion? I would I'd make a yeah. yeah. I would make motion a motion. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All in favor? Right. Uh, unanimous. Right. Thank you. Next meeting in April or May. One month off? We need well, time. Do, do we have to have another meeting sooner on this before we advertise? We just have to have a meeting before. It has uh, to be two weeks before meeting. town meeting. Is that what is town two meeting? Two weeks prior to town, town meeting. I think it's a couple of weeks prior. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe I think you're right. So, what is the day of town meeting? You know when town meeting is, Mike? May 13th. May 13th. Mike is the wizard. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Huh? <laughs> so if we come in towards the end of the last week in April, April, yeah. Last Saturday, that's a one. 26. Is that right? 29th. Of, yeah, 29th. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 29th is a Monday, the 30th. It's got to be two weeks before that. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so it has to be. It's got to be the 29th. So if we have it, if the 25th is too late because it's not two weeks, maybe we should look into. I think you're right, Rick, on that. It's, you have to have that public hearing two weeks prior. I, I'm, not, I'm not positive. I think yeah. it's in there somewhere. You know, play safe. Okay. So you want to do it the 24th or the 29th? Uh, I've got 25th as the third one. Right? Yes, 25th right? is the third one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. On a Thursday. Yeah. So that should work. April 25th of next week? Yep. And that gives um, enough time to advertise this. Yep. And <laughs> you can advertise it, and then uh, Jim can come in on the 25th. What? Wants and oh, we'll do a clarification. That's 
That's it. Gentlemen, anything else? Is there a motion? Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye at 7.55. Thank you, folks.